Ahem, if I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Sprout Mulsor. We have our tickets right here. Here you go, Mr. Sprout Mole. Oh, oh my, I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You, you all must have made some great sacrifices to be here today. <laughs> You can say that. I applaud you. Forgive me for forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. Second glance, you're the four of the most normal looking sprout moles I've ever seen. Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking sprout moles. Okay, before we do that, uh, I want to look around just a smidge. Fidget, fidget, fidget. Hush, hush, hush. We got a quest. Hey, you there? The creatures seem like well-seasoned travelers. Can you help me out? My brother lives in Sprout Mole Colony in Otherworld. I want to send a care package, but I'm afraid of getting lost. Would you be able to deliver this? Yep. Thank you, strange creatures. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Here you go. Make sure it gets to him safely. I hate Mondays. We sprout moles do not dare leave the colony ever since the Great Move. It was a hard time. Many of us didn't make it. Sprout moles were getting lost left and right. Children were separated from their families. Oh, the horror. I mean, at least it's all okay now, for the most part. So any of them that try and make it to the... Is that guy holding a knife? Any of them that try and make it to where we are, we're getting, like, picked off by that monster. A teacher? I have no idea what I'm doing, the teacher. Hey, look at this cool thing I drew. Oh my god! <laughs> that is simple. Oh, but he drew the little- he drew the monster in the bottom right. This room is occupied. Cannot be disturbed right now. No humans allowed. This room is for sprout moles only. What can I put on my masks? No. We are two. We are one. We are twan. Tofu! Hello, sir, madam. Would you be interested in purchasing some fine tofu? Yes. I need to have at least ten. For that one guy. There we go. How dare you speak such blasphemy? It is only common knowledge that tofu is better when served hot. Are you mad? Any sprout mole with decent sense knows that tofu is better when served cold. Hey, there's no need to fight. Why don't you two come to a compromise? Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Maybe you can cook tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold, like, I don't know, lukewarm? Ew! <laughs> lukewarm tofu? That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even cold tofu is better than that. I want to throw up. Even hot tofu is better than that. <laughs> Here's your tofu trivia for the day. There are four kinds of tofu. Firm, extra firm, soft, and silken. If you wish to know more about the amazing, feel free to talk to me again. Ho oh, oh. ho. It takes 12,672 blocks of tofu lined up end to end lengthwise to equal one mile. Grand. Huff, huff, huff. Oh, a joke! Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. <sighs> Excellent. You record the joke in your joke book. Oh, great. Oh, thank you. oh my god! The guy's just... Okay, I guess we're just gonna leave him there. Winter. Winter mole. Winter is the best season, don't you agree? Yes, I do, actually. Please have this gift. Winter is the best season of giving, after all. You got a scarf. Oh, I got winter sympathizer. I see you've touched your favor in the way of winter. Oh my god. To get 100%, I'd have to, like, go through this part multiple times. Ah, finally made it to the bottom. Faster, men! We must push ourselves to the limit and strive for a better tomorrow. What are these, like, soldiers? Very large, happy outlet. Yeah, I- well, no, I think I've had tofu. 
pretty sure. Man, those people really like their flamingos. Sprout moles, while intelligent, are also very obsessive creatures. As you can see, I lack any semblance of self-control. <laughs> yeah, same. Same. You want to cut the Christmas tree? Not yet. Christmas is my favorite time of year, so why not just celebrate Christmas all the time? Now cut it. Christmas Crusher, you got present! Christmas is ruined! I got Christmas Crusher. That's probably the one evil thing I've done this game. It's so hard to get a good night's sleep lately. If only I had something to make the experience of sleeping more comfortable. Well, you didn't give me a quest, so too bad, so sad. Cut the wire? No. I'm working on revolutionary technology that will change all life in the colony. Nay, the world! Whoa. Look at this guy! Root King Carnivore. This guy's badass looking. Gas makes everyone happy? Oh my. Well, no, I'm gonna be sad instead. Ah, I don't like an opponent that makes you happy. That's kind of weird. Oh, I did the wrong attack. I'm an idiot. Oh, no. Everyone's ecstatic? Uh... Ow. I feel like I should be worried. If everyone gets too happy, I feel like that's going to be a problem. Yeah, I've got a better plan. I should have something that makes my entire party something. Inflict sad on all friends. Perfect. Let's do stab on you. Power hit on you. You use a toy. Use Ring Cloud. And Hero, why don't you do a heal on her? God damn it! He's fast! He's really fast! The gingivitis is strong in this one. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, no, we have to kill the roots. Everyone, 
Are his gums bleeding? Either that or he's just munched somebody. Doesn't look good, whatever it is. Ah! That was super rude. Alright, you wanna play ball? Let's play ball. Yeah, that rap attack hurts. Oh, those spam heals are not cool, dude. It hurts. Been healing you, asshole. Trying to build up to a team attack. Um, let's see if I could make him. Let's make him happy. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Well, no. Happy beats sad. Sad beats anger. Anger beats happy. So we want him to be sad since he keeps making us all annoyed. Okay, so let's sad poem the boss. Let's to power hit him. I want you to do a team heal. And I want you to team power. Ooh, you okay? Rise, nice. Alright, we can team attack now. Alright, he's sad. Oh no, anger's better. Ah, gosh darn it. I just put myself in a stupid situation. Oh gosh. Do it now! Do it now! Okay, he's happy now. Gosh, she's got one health left. Release energy! Release energy! Hmm. 
Let him have it! Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Oh my god, that didn't kill him. Oh, that didn't kill him. Holy snap. Friendship, bitch. Hopefully he can't regenerate those. Stab. Root. He roars. Oh great, roaring didn't do shit. Alright, he feels sad now. Uh, but if he's sad, I need to be angry. Yeah. But that I can do. Hack away. Headbutt. Use a toy. Make everyone pissed. Anger on all friends. Nice. Let's do this. <laughs> Kaboom! No! God, I hate that gas! Oh, that gas sucks! Okay, let's make... Let's make him angry. That'll be easier. Yeah, he lost juice because he's in defensive mode. That's what, that's what juice does. Uh, Lucky Slice the Root. I want you to power hit the big man. I want you to... Present the boss. I want you to attack. Okay, King Carnivore's angry. Which means everyone gets bonus damage against him. I hate those roots, dude. Alright, all in on the boss. Why don't you run and gun him? Pow! Yeah, down it goes! 13,000 experience? Holy crap! Oh, we got an air horn. Omori learned painful truth? Aubrey learned mood wrecker? Kel learned ricochet? Oh, two of those skills did not sound like good things. I guess he was just defending a lot of items. I don't like you. Um... Painful truth. Deals damage to a foe. Omori and the foe become sad? Oh, 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 oh. oh poor little... Poor sweet boy. Mood Wrecker. A swing that doesn't miss. Deals extra damage to happy foes. That's pretty cool. Um, let's do, let's replace counter with that. Then what is Ricochet? Deals damage to a foe three times? Ooh! Uh, I think I'd rather have that than Curveball. Nice. Fun boss. Oh! So the thing I could have cut was connected to that creature. 
Interesting. What? Hey, Gabby, do you know what happens if you cut the thing instead? You and your friends feel like new. That's what you did? Did I deliver the- oh, wait, sorry. The anvil drops on it? Okay, so it auto-kills it? But that sweet, sweet experience. Oh boy. Okay, so it looks like we're in the pink castle now. We need to keep an eye out for, uh... My love for Sweetheart knows no bounds. Sweetheart, Sweetheart, she's the only one for me. Wow, look at this huge stage, just as amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats, it looks like the show is about to start. Are you ready to take your front row seats? Sure. Oh god, I'm getting Metaton vibes. Ladies and gentle moles, welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Before our show, we wanted to take a moment, take a moment to honor the life of someone who's been an inspiration to us all, our beloved leader, Ye Old Sprout. He was truly the father that none of us deserved. Yeah, I killed him. <laughs> I killed that guy in the first stream. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. Ooh, this is a little awkward. <laughs> he was standing in he was standing in the way of uh, Basil's house. Ah, that's awkward. May he rest in peace. <laughs> oh man. And now, on to the show. I'm gonna be shocked if we don't have to fight this lady. Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time, we've rounded up three very new, very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now. Contestant number one is a local of Sprout Mole Village. He's coming in at three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant number one. Isn't Sweetheart, like, human-ish? Contestant number two is... Yep, you guessed it. Also a local Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at three feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekend rolling around in dirty laundry. Hmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant number two. And now for something completely different. Contestant number three comes all the way from Otherworld! It's like he just fell out of the sky, literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snaily! Only like a handful of people. And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most poultric dunin... Poultry... Poultritudinous face. Poultritudinous. 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 The hell does that mean? Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all that is amazing and wonderful. She's just about to set foot on this very stage. Please give a big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent Sweetheart! <laughs> what the hell? Why did Snaily get obliterated? <laughs> wow! Screw him, apparently. Oh no, there's a blackout. Now what do we do? I have to know what happens next. Let's wait it out. I'm sure the Sprout Moles will get power back on in no time. Help! We don't know what to do! 
Help! We don't know what to do either! Help! 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 <laughs> help! Well, maybe we should look around just in case. That's amazing. Oh, okay, I can't go on stage. <laughs> you just got obliterated by lightning. Wow, I guess the blackout affected all of Sprout Mole Village, too. Hero, what do we do now? Don't worry, Aubrey, this is where my handyman ex expertise comes into play. In cases like this, we should probably be looking for some kind of backup generator. Okay. Um, thinking it's probably where that inventor was. He was like all the way at the bottom over here. No? Not here? Huh. Like it was just the wrath of God that killed Snaily. I don't remember there being a generator. Gra, the humble abode of Rosa. Gra, Gra, the number one sweetheart fan in the world. Oh, I remember her. That really sucked. Oh, here it is. Pick up the pace, boys. We must make haste. We're trying our best, Warden. This is as fast as we can go. Why isn't this working? I feel sick. Keep running, moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. This wire isn't plugged into the outlet. Plug it in. <laughs> ba -bum! What'd I say, moles? Hard work pays off. Now keep on running. I like how... <laughs> you want to exercise with your friends? Yes. Dude, look at Ken go! <sighs> Not Ken. Um... Kel. I like how they think it's their exercise powering the machine when it looks like it's literally just a plug. Seemed like a bizarrely pointless... Interruption to my quest. Uh oh. Someone, please help me! I'm in need of a handsome young gentleman. You! Yes! You there, the striped pants! You magnificent beast! Yes! Oh, ho, 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 yes! You look like you'll do just fine. Huh? Wow, uh, why thank you, I, I don't know what to say. Please, Cancer, will you help out a poor lonely mole? I'm desperately in need of your service. Well, since you asked so nicely, how could I refuse? Thank you, thank you, Unlag, you are too generous. Please come this way now, chop chop. Wait, wait, hold on, can my friends come too? Ah, yes, your friends. You are all here to see the sweetheart's guests, yes? If so, you will all meet again soon enough. Now come, sir, we must make haste, time is short. Hero left the party. Well... <laughs> Good, good luck, hero, since What's-His-Face got struck by lightning. <laughs> Greetings, sweetheart fans. We apologize for the short intermission. Welcome back to your regular scheduled program. During the break, we regret to inform you that a tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. Ha ha ha! Wow, they got that up really quick! 
Is it was at this time that we announced the sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds that we got to know him. He was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. <laughs> they don't even say his name. <laughs> but the show must go on. <laughs> Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant number three, hailing all the way from the vast forest. It's our hero in shining armor. I think he's got bedhead. Get this, guys! Hero's a real hunk, standing at a whopping five foot seven. His passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. If that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. And now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dip the lights, please. She. Oh yeah, this. She's the one, the only, the magnificent. Oh! <laughs> Sweetheart. Oh my god, that laugh. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, make it stop. An excellent entrance, my leech. Ah, yes! It is me! Hello, my stupid, adoring fans. We love you, sweetheart! Yeah, you're the best! Oh my lord. Sweetheart, we have brought three of the best bachelors in the world into the stage. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Let's start with some questions. One thing that sweethearts value most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. Do you, Contestant 1, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Contestant 1, what is your answer? Uh, sure. I don't know. I guess. I'm <laughs> playing hard to get, I see. What do you think about that response, sweetheart? Hmm, just three feet tall? My, that is much too short. Aww. Oh, she doesn't... What about the short kings, huh? Send him off to the dungeon! Hey, what, what did you say? The d dungeon? <laughs> they have swords coming out of their sprouts. Help me! See you, dude. <laughs> what is happening? Contestant 2, we ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer, just answer truthfully. Contestant number 2, will you pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, uh, sure, if that means I won't get sent to the dungeon. <laughs> My word, this one, his very being offends me. Take him away, boys! He almost got away. Contestant number three, it looks like you're the last one standing. I'll ask the same question one more time. Again, no pressure at all. Do you, Hero, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, no, that doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? My, this one. He's absolutely immaculate. Could it be? Is Sweetheart in love? What an exciting turn of events! This must be fate, a match made in heaven! Ooh, wait, but I just said... Ah, yes, yes, you'll do just fine! Now, what was your name again? Uh, it's, uh, it's Hero, ma'am. Hero! My hero! We must go to my chambers at once! Oh, no! Guards, I have my chosen suitor. Take him away! Guys, please do something! Whoa, Hero's gonna marry Sweetheart? <laughs> I didn't see that one coming at all! Kel, what are you saying? We have to help him! What do you want me to do about it? I don't want to go to the dungeon. Ugh, Kel, you're so useless. Hero, you have to reject Sweetheart! It's time, hero, your princess awaits! Uh, I don't think she's gonna listen to me. Just do it already! Okay, I'll try. Excuse me, sweetheart, ma'am. Ah, yes, my lovely hero, how I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again! Wow, haha, <laughs> that's so nice of you. I mean... 
So, why do I have to do this? I'm um, <laughs> sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Why, whatever do you mean, my prince? I, uh, this is all really flattering and all, but, you know, we only just met, like, a few moments ago, and, well, I have to reject your, um, offer? Oh, pish posh! Oh, don't be silly, hero. I've never heard anything sillier. It, it's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I don't want to marry you. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> well, this, this is preposterous. No. This, this is blasphemy! You dare reject Sweetheart? Everyone loves Sweetheart, you hear me? Everyone, send him off to the dungeon! Hey, stop right there! You can't take Hero, he belongs to us! What's this now? What is a non-Sweetheart fan doing in the audience? Ah, I see. You must be Hero's fans! The nerve of you lot! First you make a fool out of me, then you interrupt me in my own show? I'm the one who makes the rules around here. Guards, take them away! Oh wow, there are quite a few of them. Now you've done it, Aubrey. <laughs> Thirty years, dungeon! <laughs> we're just in the dungeon. Ah oh, man, now we're all stuck in the dungeon. Sorry guys, it's my fault we're in this mess. No, it's not Hero. No one could have predicted that would happen. Oh ho 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 ho! Oh ho 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 ho! You fools! Don't you recognize me? Oh! <laughs> it's Rosa! It's me! Rosa! The number one sweetheart fan in the world! I told you that you'd all pay for crossing me! Curses! We've been bamboozled! Should have known you were behind this, Rosa! It's true what they say revenge is sweet! Now rot, you peons! Rot in the dungeon forever! Dang it, how are we ever gonna get out of here? We'll find a way. Come on, guys, let's think about this. Where do we even start? It's not like they just leave the gate unlocked, would they? They did. <laughs> they left the gate unlocked. <laughs> oh my. Looks like a job for Aubrey. Man, these things are dumb. Oh, smashable pots. Now we're talking. Ramen toilet. Uh, spike trap. More spike traps. Hey, it's Mary! Mary, Mary, help us! We're stuck in the dungeon! Oh no! How is she down here? There you go! Now come here and enjoy a nice picnic with me. I promise you'll feel better right away. Are those pickles? Ah yes. Pickles. Delightful. You and your friends feel like new. Hey gang, seems like you're all stuck in a little pickle, so I snuck in some pickles. Oh, yuck. I hate pickles. Next time, could you sneak in some jam instead? Picnic with my friends in the dungeon? Sure. Hero, I have a question for you. Was there any chance in the world that you would have said yes to marrying Sweetheart? What? No way! You know I only have eyes for you, Mary. Woo! Look at that suave lad! <laughs> Look at that face! Look at those moves! Ron, you have a good one, dude. Ew. You is right, Kel. Hero, that's not what I like about you at all. What? It's not? Then what is it? I can't tell you that, silly. That would ruin the magic. Okay, I don't really get it, but whatever you say. Mary, you don't have to worry about Sweetheart at all. Sweetheart is the worst! I can't imagine anyone being in love with her. Wasn't she with Captain Spaceboy, though? <laughs> Relationships like that are just shallow. 
You can't compare it to the real deal. Like what me and Omori have. <laughs> oh no, Aubrey. Aubrey, no, don't jump over that bridge. Isn't that right, Omori? Omori? Uh, next scene. <laughs> next scene. <laughs> oh man. She's just, she just flung herself out there. To no avail. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's going to be a good stopping point for today. I'm pretty tired. And it's almost 1.30am. Uh, I'm enjoying this game though, and we're making great progress. I think we will do the Legend of Zelda segment, dungeon, whatever, tomorrow. Um, so, thank you all for joining me. This was a good time. The, this episode was much more fun than horror. Um, and this game's weird. Like, it, it, it just... The, the tonal shifts are crazy. Uh, like, these segments... This literally just feels like Undertale to me. Um, it, it feels like a much more developed and expanded Undertale. But then there are those moments where it's like, oh shit, like, th stuff hits the fan. But, um, 